Hi there, welcome to AKC's Home is Where the Dog Is. Today we welcome back our canine star, Ruby, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. In this episode, we're going to learn about dangerous foods and plants for your dogs. You may think that feeding your dog the foods that you enjoy the most are special treats, but you might actually be causing him more harm than good. Although some human foods can be perfectly safe for your dog, other foods such as butter, raisins, onions, and chocolate can be toxic and should be kept away from your dog. We've invited Dr. Jerry Klein, AKC's Chief Veterinary Officer, to help us break down those toxic foods. Hi, Dr. Klein. Thank you for joining us today. As you may know, there are many human foods that are delicious to us but are dangerous to dogs. So what foods should we look out for and avoid giving to our dogs? Well, for starters, chocolate is probably one of the most extremely uh, common but harmful things to dogs. It contains methylxanthines and theobromine. It changes their metabolism, it changes their heart rate, it can have tremors and neurologic signs, and it can really uh, affect the dog very, very badly. The darker the chocolate, the more toxic the chocolate is. And it's also dependent on the size of the dog. So a small dog getting into semi-sweet chocolate chips, like in chocolate chip cookies, um, or baking chocolate, that can be very, very dangerous. Uh, grapes and raisins can be very toxic as well, and on some dogs, and they don't know why, but it's not always the amount. It can cause uh, kidney issues, and dogs have to be hospitalized sometimes for two days on IV fluids. Um, sugar uh, in candies can cause a rush and down afterwards, and for like diabetics, it could be a problem. It's got a lot of calories, but just as important and more toxic are the artificial sweeteners like xylitol, which is in a lot of candies and in sugarless gum. And we see a lot of that, dogs get into that. Things like uh, onions and garlic can be toxic as well, cause anemias. Caffeine can change their heart rates, can be very toxic. And dough, like in, for those people that bake, for pizza dough mm -hmm. and uh, bread dough, dogs getting into it can cause severe problems. Wow. Certain vitamins can cause issues. Obviously, alcohol can have a problem. And dog, if you're having a party and glasses are left unattended, dogs will lick those uh, drinks, and that can be a problem. The pits and avocados and peaches can be toxic, as well as apple seeds as well. So Dr. Klein, say I've had a barbecue, mm. and you know I got rid of all the chicken bones, the corn on the cob, mm all my favorite barbecue foods. What happens if my dog goes into my trash? What should I do in that circumstance? Well, first thing you should do is probably call your veterinarian because all those things you mentioned can be real problematic. The bones can cause splintering and cause punctures of the intestines. We have a lot of dogs that ingest corn on the cob. The cobs itself can cause an obstruction requiring surgery. So if a dog gets into the garbage, uh, it can be problematic. Always remember to keep the garbage covered, and it's not always easier to do, but always have your family members and children as well cover the garbage. You want to be sure that all human food is out of your dog's reach. You want to make an effort to keep most toxic foods like chocolate and sugary foods as far from your dog's reach as possible. The command, leave it, is extremely effective in preventing dogs from eating something that falls onto the floor or is accidentally left within reach like on the countertop. So now that we've discussed toxic foods for our dogs, which human foods are okay to feed them? Well, some human foods such as cooked eggs and plain turkey and, and uh, cold cuts, uh, fish without bones and cheese are perfect. And a lot have much better nutritional values than some of these other foods and snacks. Uh, carrots and string beans are great for, like, for treats and for training. Certain cereals, bananas are great as well. I've also heard that some garden and variety plants can be dangerous or poisonous to dogs. Is this true? Yeah, there's a lot that can be toxic. Uh, certain plants that most people don't know, lilies of the valleys and oleanders and foxglove, have something called uh, problems that can affect the heart, like digitalis, one of the medications for heart medications. Uh, things like sago palms, which are common in a lot of landscape gardens, can cause severe liver failure and death. So it's very, very dangerous. Some of the Christmas plants, like poinsettias and hollies and mistletoes, uh, they can cause irritation of the stomach lining and cause vomiting and drooling, but they're usually not deadly kind of plants. Thank you, Dr. Klein, for all those helpful tips. So let's recap what we learned today. Xylitol, raisins, chocolate, coffee, onion, garlic, grapes, alcohol, and yeast dough are dangerous to dogs. Plants such as lily of the valley, mistletoe, holly, and sago palms are dangerous to have around dogs as well. Teaching the leave it command can prevent accidents from happening. 
Thank you once again to our canine star, Ruby, for being a great co-host. And a big thank you to Dr. Klein for breaking down the toxic foods and plants we should keep away from our dogs. Don't forget to subscribe to American Kennel Club's YouTube channel for more informative videos on keeping your dog healthy and happy. Thanks for watching Home is Where the Dog Is. See you next time.